think Mary Rose and the delicate business of raising Henry VIII's warship probably comes to mind. But the wreck was not the only thing to be retrieved from the seabed. Just ask one of the divers involved in the operation back in 1982. I think on any archaeological site, site you expect to find bones, but the really important thing is we've got the bones of the people and the ship and, that, and the objects. And as the surviving Harland decks are dried out, researchers have been able to look much closer at the health of those on board on that fateful day in 1545, using their remains. Here at the Royal National Orthopaedic Hospital, they're scanning the bones with a new laser, which gives a more detailed picture of the state of each limb from the inside. You can see this one is slightly curved, which suggests rickets. But the study is not just telling scientists about the past. The sheer number of remains found means they can establish the exact chemical makeup of different conditions like rickets, which could help the laser identify cases today. Interestingly, the normal bones from the Mary Rose have a chemical composition almost identical to a bone from a recently uh, dead human today. And that enables us to have a, a very strong reference point against which we can assess diseases. And marrying up biology and history may be increasingly important. Amid signs, rickets is returning. It's mostly caused by a lack of vitamin D. Cod liver oil and eggs in the diet are good sources, but sunshine is the main way the body produces the vitamin, and there are fears children are not being exposed to the right amounts. Crucial also because D helps the absorption of calcium. This is a girl who was two years old and could not walk because her legs were so bent and she was so weak. Leading doctors say there's no reliable evidence yet on how widespread the problem is today, but easier and possibly earlier diagnosis would be an obvious benefit. That technique could cast a lot of light on not just the understanding of how bones become healthy or unhealthy, but they could actually help doctors like me diagnose children if we could just shine a laser at a child's finger or leg and see what that bone is made of. That would be a very valuable technique. Mary Rose, Henry VIII's flagship. It was a moment of live television 60 million people were relieved to see. And 30 years on, the lifting of the Mary Rose is still paying dividends. Simon Clemerson, BBC News, Portsmouth.